everybody, this is Katie with Rootball Exotics, and today we are doing a ball python feeding video. So let's get to it. I accidentally already fed Pickle. He had a nice tail shot, but he still wrapped it, so we're just working on swallowing it. Little Pickle. So he is our Pasta Leopard 100% Double Het Desert Ghost VPI Xanthic. And he's going to be bred to our um, possible desert ghost female and also possible albino. We haven't added the desert ghost to her tag yet, but she is our biggest girl. She's a big normal. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's right here. Hi. So hopefully we get some cool desert ghost babies and we'll have some possible head albino and possible head VPI exanthic in the mix too along with leopard and some pasta so the first boy we're gonna feed here we're doing boys first or I guess the second because we already fed pickle um, this is Bo. He's a pastel clown. He was the dad to our firefly clutch, so all of those um, babies are 100% het clown, too. Let's see if he wants to smell she. Looks interesting. Come on. Take your mouth she. He's a little, he's like super sweet and gentle, so I think he needs to like make sure it's a mouse first. Do the scoop it a little bit here. I love his head stamp and his little nose dots, they're so cute. Hi, buddy. He is one of our largest males. I think he is the largest, actually. So I just feed him like a big mouse because he doesn't really need rats. So otherwise, he would get fat. Come on, buddy. I know you want it. Usually, he stops eating when he's shedding, but I thought he shed pretty recently. Sometimes it works if you just like drop it. Like, boop. <laughs> He's just staring at it. That head stamp is so cool. Come on, Bo. So his name is Fizbo after Fizbo the Clown from Modern Family. So I'm just gonna leave in here with it. Alright, so the next boy we're feeding is Jin. He is a phantom special calico, and he is also super sweet. All of our boys are really sweet. But he, the phantom and special is an allelic combination. So, um, that means that none of his babies should be normal, and he is proven. Um, and then he was bred and locked with Nisa. We'll feed later in this video, but she is a super Mojave het hypo. So we'll get all of the babies should be since she's super. All of the babies will be Mojave, and then with him, all of the babies will be either crystals or purple passions, and then they'll all be fifty percent possible het hypo as well. So that's going to be an exciting clutch. The next boy we're feeding here is totally ready for it. Um, his name is Tropius. He's named after the bamboo Pokemon. Um, he is a bamboo coral glow possible yellow belly fader. And he's also a female maker. So we um, bred him to our other bamboo girl. And he's actually really sweet too. Um, all the boys are so sweet. I love his two little freckles. He's like just two since he's got the bamboo in there. Uh, but he was bred to our bamboo black pastel female. So we'll get some um, 
blue are loose sticks, and then they'll be some coral glows in there too, and then the coral glows should be female, which is really exciting. So the next boy we're feeding is a Johnny. Um, he's named after the Magic the Gathering Planeswalker. He is a pastel gravel, 100% hat clown, and we have big plans for this guy since he's got his gravel gene in there. We're gonna make some super gravel, super gravel clowns. We're gonna make some um, highways, yeah, highways. And yeah, he's also super sweet, but he's a really good breeder. He walks up super fast with pretty much everyone we pair him to. So there's a genre. The first of our girl is Gaia. She's a pastel gravel 100% hat clown. And she loves the food. She's super pretty too. I don't think this girl's gonna eat. I can try it anyway. Next is Nisa. We're gonna get it in the tub though. Can you ready? She normally takes it right away. You know what the rat? Hmm. I just had a shed, so maybe that was her prelay shed, and now she doesn't want food, but we'll see. So now we have Shane. She's the mom of the clutch that is um, hatched out, but hasn't quite shed yet. So she used to be huge and she's a little, quite a bit smaller now. So we're trying to fatten her up again. Not fatten her up, but get her, get her some weight back. All right, so next girl is Calypso. She is a ivory or super yellow belly. She's so pretty. Oh, she pooped it. There we go. All right, the water bowl. Yeah, she is bred, was bred to the pastel gravel hat clown. So she, all of her babies will be um, yellow belly. So the ones that are gravel will know because they'll look like Kylie's. Our next girl is Zen. She's our Bambi black pastel. <laughs> Just put it in and get her back in there. She's going back in. Go get it. Yeah. Sniff it out. He's close. Here we go. Next girl is basically a food psychopath, so I'm going to clone them. She got it. 
We have Zreska. She is an Enchi Yellow Belly. So she's uh, going to be bred with Johnny. And we'll get some more highways. This goes in this smaller tub while she sheds. So we can keep it moist. And so she has um, a good area to press up against. And then we'll put her back in our normal tub. This is Bumble. She is a spider super pastel. So, killer bee. And she's so pretty. But this girl is available um, on our morph market. So, if you like her, she's a proven breeder. She's nice and big. She eats really well. She has a little bit of a wobble, but obviously it doesn't affect her eating. Um, she just goes upside down when she's exploring sometimes, which I think is actually kind of cute. But yeah, that's Bumble.